Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope everything is going well with you and may Allah bestow you all with both wisdom and a fully blessed healthy life. I'd like to share with you a few points about Surah Al-Fatiha and I am sure that you will love them all inshallah. Let's begin with why it's named Surah Al-Fatiha. Obviously yes because both our prayer and the Quran start with this surah. And please be familiar with the other names like the mother of the book, Umm al-Kitab, the seven repeated verses, al-Sab al-Mathani, the Rukya, which, is, which means the remedy, the cure, al-Shifa. You may wonder why one of its names is the mother of the book, for example, because it contains all the meanings of the entire Quran, as opposed to the skin surrounds the brain. Like Mecca, we call it the mother of the villages, so, it's the same with Surah Al-Fatiha, that it is the leader of all the Quran chapters. What about this name, the seven repeated verses? Well, simply, it contains seven verses, and we read it repeatedly during the prayer. I have a story about this name also. It is recorded in the Musnad that Abu Sa'id ibn al-Mullah said, I was praying when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, called me. So I did not answer him until I finished my prayer. I then went to him and said, What prevented you from coming? I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I was praying. He said, Didn't Allah say, Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu stajibu lillahi wa lirrasooli idha da'akum? He then said, I'll teach you the greatest surah in Quran before you leave the mosque. He held my hand, and when he was about to leave the mosque, I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, you said, I will teach you the greatest surah in the Quran before you leave the mosque. He said, yes, it is the seven repeated verses and this glorious Quran I was given. Peace be upon him. That is great, brothers and sisters. What about the other names, the cure and the remedy? Well, it is also recorded in the narration of Abu Sa'id, tells the story of the companion who used Surah Al-Fatiha as a remedy for the tribal chief who was poisoned. Later, the messenger, peace be upon him, said, How did you know that it is a remedy? Now, brothers and sisters, that we finished with the names, let's briefly talk about some benefits of this great Surah. Allah the Exalted said, I have divided the prayer between me and my servant shall receive what he asked for. When he say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Allah says, my servant has praised me. When he says, ar rahman ar rahim Allah says, my servant has glorified me. When he says, Maliki Yawmiddin, Allah says, my servant has glorified me. When he says, Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka nasta'in, Allah says, this is between me and my servant shall acquire what he asked for. When he says, إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ Allah says, this is for my servant and my servant shall acquire all what he asked for. Last but not least, brothers and sisters, I deeply hope you enjoyed sharing these lovely informations with me and I'm full of confidence that the next time you will read this great surah you will enjoy it more and more than before inshallah thank you very much for your time brothers and sisters until the next time wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh